Okay, so this is our 275 pound lightweight manipulator arm. Uh, a lot of cool features on this arm. This arm is actually our floating version. Uh, it has two positions for which it floats, one being the unloaded position right here. So you're talking you can float this arm up and down. It's roughly probably about five pounds of force or so to move this thing up and down. Um, it has, like I said, it has two positions. So this unloaded condition floats. Once it makes vacuum, it triggers a switch and causes the weight of the sink to float. So it, it uh, takes it, adds about 50 pounds of upward force once the vacuum is made, so now you can float the sink. Uh, it's got some cool features on here. This arm has rotation brakes. The brakes are on, I have to release them on the primary and secondary arm. This lever right here releases the brakes, so now I can move the arm around the work cell. Again, very easy arm to maneuver. We'll come over here, we'll line this up. We made vacuum, so now it triggers the switch. Now it's dialed into float and sink. The nice part about that is if your sink weight changes, you can easily dial in right here a different weight with a couple turns of this knob. If I turn this to the left, this thing will start to drift down, which will simulate a lighter weight. If I turn it more to the right, it's going to drift up, signaling a heavier weight. But if I just kind of get it to balance out, about right there, you know, it takes 5-10 seconds to adjust to a new weight if your weights are constantly changing. So the cool thing about this tool is it flips 180 degrees. They want to inspect these things. So we'll go ahead, We'll rotate this thing over itself. You rotate it up there. They're also doing some fixturing. So you could see them pull it out of a fixture at a tilted angle. So depending on how they're coming out of their molds or their fixtures, you may need some extra rotation that way. Um, again, arms still very easy to move, even with a load. Go ahead and set this down. That's about flat there. Once we release the part, it goes back to a normal neutral position so you have the ability to float it again in an unloaded state. That is the version of this arm. For any other questions, feel free to give us a call or visit us at ergonomicpartners.com. Thank you.